Okay, so this is where he is sending his uh, troops forward, and undoubtedly, this is where they're going to meet me. Besides that, he is going to build himself a few units inside of my base here. And as you can see, I'm fighting them. On the other side, my troops have engaged his troops. And they're moving forward. That's it. Now, he is probably just waiting for my assault. He has an observer in my base, a thing I didn't know. However, this observer probably knows that my army is out. An army that should soon um, fight him. So that's it. It looks like I have successfully managed to invade his base and he has successfully managed to land more troops. I personally hate landings very much because I find hard to defend against them. But um, so far it has proved to be too much for him. I have plus one plus one with shields and stem and this army was just enough to blast through him. That is all for this. Now let's move on to another game. However, this win unfortunately never got uh, counted in for some reason. In any case, <clears throat> maybe something was wrong. I don't know. Let's just keep moving. I still have to win seven times to unlock League. And that's certainly not going to be easy besides I think I'm already playing a league level games already <clears throat> so um, it's certainly not going to be much easier than it's currently is now we'll be facing a random player a random race I want to say so we'll never know who exactly we are going to <clears throat> fight against that's uh, an interesting map nonetheless let us uh, move on with uh, first things first the supply depot after that I'm going to build myself a <clears throat> refinery which will be used to refine gas into usable fuel for us as you can see I've already hit the cap here alright that's um, an enemy uh, probe unfortunately I have to try and block this off I wonder did I block this off? As you can see I didn't but um, I'm going to build myself something else here. Okay that's it's it's always always bad <clears throat> the fact that uh, they came scout me that's kind of a sign that a player um, knows something I don't uh, he can always do a uh, base rush on me. As you can see, it still didn't go walled off, unfortunately. I'll try to do this right and uh, wall myself off here. Okay, now um, let's put more troops in and I'm going to build myself another barracks. Now um, that that's done, I should wait for more resources to build myself back. Uh, refine. 
not, I mean, factory, but I'm just going to go for extra barracks here. And now I can go for a factory. So this build right here, as you can see, has been extremely heavily focused on... Um, um, uh, building up the military a little bit and um, uh, that's it now probably best to suddenly go for a supply depot and I need to expand otherwise I may be a little too stuck here okay now that that's done let's see what my opponent is up to this base right here just wasn't taken. I see that he built himself a pylon. I'm going to attack this pylon with uh, my marines. So he did uh, want to do a, um, a rush on me there. Uh, but it didn't happen. Okay, let's uh, finally build ourselves that command center here. So he just wanted to know, most likely, if um, I'm going for a command center. And um, I certainly am doing just that. Now that that's done, I need to build myself a starport. And um, probably a few more marines. Furthermore... I'm going to go for um, a scan onto this base. So we know that he has an army. It's not. Uh, it's something not something different. But this army right here is without a base, and um, this could as well mean that um, my opponent is going for a very very powerful um, play here. I need to build myself powerful units. Now in here I see that I'm not building anything. Uh, no reactors, that's what I wanted to say. And I'm out of uh, I'm out of money. So I'm in trouble here for a little while. I need uh, to build up. He has way way more troops than I do unfortunately for me. Okay, can this guy go? He can't, I need to move my factory. Okay, so far, so far I did not uh, suffer the on offensive. And his army is not here anymore, so it could be that uh, the offensive will come at any point in time now. Let's just, um, let's just defend this. And, um, see what will happen out of this out of display and uh, I have a lack of gas already okay so this is this is what's happening here he came at me with uh, a lot bigger a lot more massive force uh, than I had and uh, that's the end of me here so that's a good example of uh, a enemy player attacking me early on without uh, letting me to expand any further and uh, this certainly end up as a defeat, no doubts about it. So, let's take a look now, what's going on there. What was going on here? So, what he did, he did um, a scout, first things first, and he started himself um, with the violin, as always, he didn't uh, went for a cannon rush, so that's pretty much building many cannons around. And then uh, he moves in for a few gateways, 
As you can see here, he's not expanding. Now, with all these gateways, he's going to build himself a lot of troops. That's probably how I would like to play when I'm uh, learning Protoss. Just build yourself a few units, like a batch of units, a good squad, and attack. So far in his base, he's not focusing on anything else. Just gateways, cybernetic score, and uh, he's moving out. So he moved out with his troops here and there. Um, uh, I haven't noticed there. Did he just uh, spawned a few units over there? Okay, let's go back a little bit further because, uh, as you can see on the seeking screen, it didn't work out well. So look at that. I think he's going to warp in. Yeah, just exactly what happened here. So what he wanted to do with this pound over here, he just wanted to warp in units while simply using the pylon. And now with this force that he currently holds, nothing more than gateway cybernetic score, he is able to move in and successfully defeat whatever I had here. Defending this base. I had a feeling that it was coming, however It uh, Was certainly Not working out for me anyway, so That's a victory for him. I don't have any more uh, troops there wouldn't be away for me so far I don't know away for me how could I survive this and it's an end game let's move on to the next one Ascension to Ayur Li. A. Hey. All right. We'll be facing a Protoss player once again. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start with a typical <coughs> with a typical approach here I'll first of all building myself a supply depot and uh, a refinery after that I should build myself barracks now, due to the fact that I build a refinery, I can build the barracks instantaneously. After that, we need ourselves an orbital command. We need to upgrade our command center to an orbital command. Look at that, a probe. Look, it, it, it has a very nice skin here. And uh, I'm going to kill off this probe, hopefully that's uh, going to work out. Look at that, he got trapped. He got trapped and he got killed. Now that that's done, let's move on and upgrade ourselves just after the barracks finish. And build ourselves the next command center. Now he didn't notice that I'm going for this command center. So this uh, may as well give me a slight edge that he thinks I'm not expanding just yet, you know. Um, uh, after that, I should move for the command center here. 
and a factory. So obviously factory can only be built if uh, I have enough uh, resources set up and I need a hundred gas which uh, <laughs> isn't nearly as easy to acquire uh, the very very beginning of the game okay and after that just uh, a lot more probes now when my second uh, command center finishes I'll have enough supply depot to go through so I'm building myself a second gas here and uh, more SUVs furthermore I should just simply go for more marines here and uh, a lot more uh, workers okay now that that's uh, done I'll go for a starport exactly and um, that's it now I'm going to simply build up myself a bunch of SUVs I'm not even focusing on the military as you have just noticed which uh, may as well be very very risky and uh, very very bad or it may not be now as it looks like that's uh, an early aggression here and um, it could be that uh, I'm uh, going to be easily wiped out here uh, with all that uh, early aggression of his so it seems to me that um, um, uh, my inability to work this out will cost me this game. Now, he's bringing more troops. The only way I can kill him is uh, by sending more SUVs to fight. And even if SUVs are doing quite critical damage here, they are certainly not enough to kill them out. So, I'll have to say GG for this game and uh, let's see how uh, did he work this one out. So we're going to his side right here and uh, let's find out what did he did so it looks like it's doing the same tactic as the previous player did which is pretty much building himself a lot of uh, gateways and uh, attacking us with uh, all that power so what is it all about it's all about the way I look at it it's all about building gateways building yourself a pile on somewhere close and then just um, creating yourself a force building or warping to be precise new units close to your enemy's base so in this case somewhere right here and um, an attack and consistently attack he's not building himself um, a second nexus as you can see and he is actually attacking me, me with as little as two stalkers as you can see these skins are different and skins can be bought in this game maybe they can even be won I don't know I have no idea however this uh, nice looking stalker will undoubtedly beat me up here now he's building himself more gateways and a twilight council so he would certainly move this harassing to ethereal units I guess I'm sure that that's exactly what this is for or maybe not no this would simply increase um, um, zealot speed it would give blink for these stalkers right here and increases the attack speed of a depth so that's another unit right there and uh, slowly but surely without much effort the protoss player has 
defeated me due to the fact that I'm not able to defend against this aggression. Now that that's done, let's go on to the next one. After this match, I'll start playing against the AI. I have no doubts that playing against the AI is going to be less challenging than playing against other players in unranked, which means that I may be meeting much higher level players. However, this obviously um, helps me learn <clears throat> from their tactics, however, Unfortunately, I'm not going to taste victory for a long time if uh, I'm going to play here. Now, as you can see, uh, in this case, here, the map, the third base is not easily accessible. The third base is out here. Which is actually <clears throat> really, really bad. And uh, I'm not sure how this is going to work out for me. And uh, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. He is attacking with his probes. And um, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Look at that, he knows how to play it. Like he is uh, stacking me up here all um, the way. And uh, <clears throat> uh, we did make a few tests out there how uh, SUVs bear against uh, other races, probes, however, I don't remember really how to go back and check. But those arcade uh, unit testers are certainly very, very useful. <clears throat> 